The term bucket list is kind of a cliche term, but basically what it means is it's a list of things that you want to do before you die. For me, I go through life traveling from place to place, but never before have I actually laid out what are the top things that I want to do before I end my travel career or before the other thing. To get started with the first thing on my bucket list, I bring you here to a magical fishing village in the north of Norway. This right here is Lofoten, and Lofoten is a place where the sun never sets. I'm not joking, from end of May to the end of July, the sun will do a spiral around the sky, but it will never fully go below the horizon. And so that's been something I've always wanted to experience, a never ending day, all in 4K I should mention, so if you're not watching in 4K, you could bump it up. Let's get started. So you know how in action movies they always open the trunk and there's like assault rifles and all these dope weapons? Let me show you my weapon of mass 4K production. See what I did there? We got the drone, we got the 1D, the tripod, we got the range extender on the drone to get me double the distance. Let's get this production going, guys. <laughs> One thing I was not expecting from Lofoten is beaches that look like the Philippines. Doesn't feel the same way? A little bit colder? It's much colder. I'm yeah. pretty cold right now. The winds are strong and it's about 8 degrees, but <laughs> you don't come to a beautiful beach like this and not touch the water. Plus it's summer. Now actually one of the good things is we're on the Gulf Stream so even in the winter it doesn't get any colder than like minus 5, minus 10 apparently. Which considering where we are is actually kind of warm. Oh my gosh that's horrible. <laughs> it's the beginning of June but still I don't think any time of the year would ever be nice. But it's beautiful to look at. The white sand beach here is one of the purest whites I've seen. It's incredible. It caught my eye from such a distance. But the crazy thing is, we're in the polar Arctic Circle? In the Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle. And people are surfing. No, I'm not doing it's that. It's really cold. <laughs> but at the same time, it's so beautiful. That is such a pity because I would love to swim there. If I was a surfer, I think I would add this to my bucket list. Yeah. Say what you will, but that is how you need to see Lofoten on a tandem bicycle. <laughs> That is couple Cute. goals. Couple goals. And they're way older. Yeah. They're really old. They're living life. <laughs> yeah. Right now we are on route down to the west side of Lofoten as far as the road will take us all the way to a place by the name of A. And that is actually the last letter in the Norwegian alphabet. The best landscapes, the most dramatic mountains is all down towards that direction. So we're going to continue on with our route here, but I just can't stop stopping. Everywhere I go, I turn around to Ben and I'm like, I will just like regret if I do not pull over and this is one of those places right here. It is perfection. I just don't know how Lofoten even exists. The water is perfect, the mountains are dramatic and let's hope we get to experience a proper midnight sun tonight. You'll see a lot of red homes, a bit of white homes, a few yellow homes and it's actually such a cool reason. Yeah, so red paint was the cheapest to make because it's basically cod oil, cod liver oil mm -hmm. mixed with animal's blood. So it was the cheapest way so they can feed yeah. their Blood their and houses. fish oils basically. Yeah. And the white and yellow were way more expensive because they basically had to take a bunch of white flowers or yellow flowers and mix it the same way. Yeah. But for obvious reasons it was way more expensive. Nowadays people are not painting with blood or fish oils but back in the day that's what it would have meant. outside guys check out this restaurant we are right on the water here what are you gonna get mussels if they have I will get them I could eat them every day look at that show off with their yellow home along all these red homes just flaunting what he's made of and here we have it here guys so this is cod potato with some deep fried potato with some tomato really good I think in total each of our plates are roughly 35 US dollars. It's super expensive, but to be honest, it's not that shocking here in Norway. We have arrived in A. Or A. Ah, or O. Oh. I think it's pronounced O. Oh. O. Oh. I'm kidding. It's a, it was just like a what? 100 meters? 100 meters walk? <laughs> 200 meters. Look at this view. Well, this is the end of the road. I'm not going to say it's the most exciting place in Lofoten, 
but it's definitely been an incredible day trip. The best part has been the road. There's some crazy, crazy hikes you could get into where you could spend hours and hours going up into these mountains. Maybe that's for you, not for us. And we're back at Hadvika Lodge, and I need to show you guys where we're staying because this is one of the best things about where we are right now in Lofoten. This area right here used to be a commercial fishing area, but it was converted into this beautiful lodge right here on the water. This is where all the fishing activity used to go on to, so the fish would be brought in, processed. We actually have a little jacuzzi there tonight, which maybe we'll make use of during the midnight sun. Better than a polar swim. Better than a polar bear swim. But for the actual midnight sun, we're going to be hiking up into a local nearby mountain. Really, really fortunate to have been uh, invited to stay here. The owner is actually named Christian, and he's been so nice to us. Must be a Christian thing, you know? Just nice people all around. Actually, uh, someone named Christian stole money from my dad, so not all Christians are good. Wasn't me, by the way. <laughs> 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 it was a different one. Tonight we're having a very special dinner all arranged here by Christian. Christian 2.0. Yes, thank you for having us. Perfect. We've just been brought out here our bacalao. Christian was just explaining to us that it's actually part of the Lofoten culture. Portuguese explorers would have come here, they would have brought over some of their food, some of their ways of living, and this is one of them. Cheesecake that was made at 6 a.m. by Christian's wife, Goody. Maybe Such a nice touch. Made with love. It's the best cheesecake, cheesecake we've ever factory. had. So you're finding that the social media is actually helping your business? Yes, by far. It's by far our biggest success factor. How was your dinner? Amazing. But Blown away. I had so much wine and concern <laughs> that we have to hike. Yeah. <laughs> it's not every day the owner of the restaurant, of the hotel, is the one pouring you water, pouring you wine. He loves what he, he does. He's this so humble. This is truly one of those one in the world places. There's nowhere else like it. And whenever we find restaurants, whenever we find hotels that are run with like so much heart and so much love, it makes all the difference. And this is one of those places. He wants to come in. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what time it is? It's uh, uh Anyways, guys, there it is. Uh, checked off the bucket list. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, I'm just playing. We are just getting started with our day here because even though it's midnight right now, the lowest point of the sun in the day doesn't happen until 2 a.m. Let's do this. But for reference, guys, this is 12 o'clock at night, and it literally looks like it could be 4 p.m. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, look at the reflection, guys. Well, that's everyone, let's go. Let's freaking get this car on the road, baby. Let's do this. Midnight sun, here we come. Oh, sorry, I forgot about you. Oh, my bad. Okay, we gotta be quiet because there's all sorts of people just sleeping here on the beach. RVs and camper vans, but oh, look at this place. It's freaking amazing. That's what we're hiking. The name of the hike is Manen, which in Norwegian means man. So today we're becoming men. Yeah, it's, it's electric. Elias. Yeah. You're from Finland. Yeah. I just asked him for directions and he's actually seen a few of the videos. So he's going to join us to watch the midnight sun. Let's jump the electric fence. <laughs> Found the path. So basically, there is an entrance. You don't have to hop electric wires. This is like the most easy path. But we weren't sure which one to take. But I think we've decided we're gonna go towards the beach and not the other path that goes inland. Just hanging with mom. <laughs> He's so cute. We've woken up his brother though. If there's ever a moral of a story, it's don't go hiking with me. We took the wrong way and now we have to turn back. So we lost ourselves those 30 minutes that would have got us in position before sunset. Looks like we're gonna get to the top right as the sun is rising. But I flew the drone, and based on my surveillance, it seems like this is the path that goes to the top. I run, thinking that this was the end. It's not? It right. uh, it's an optical illusion. It's never ending. Look how high we've come. We're above the world. Honestly, every single bit of discomfort and pain and lack of sleep makes up for it 
right here. Unbelievable. Is that not the most beautiful 360 you've ever done? We are now on the ridge. We found the path. I don't think we took the right path, but we found a path. But the best thing about right now is the incredible lighting. So let's get to the top. <sighs> this is how it works. When you're there, you think the tallest point is here. But then you get there, and then you think the tallest point is here. And then you get there, and then it's there, and then you get here, and it never stops. <laughs> I'm starting to think we climbed the wrong mountain. Oh my gosh. Kathy, yeah. could it be? Could that be it? I'm gonna put my flag when I arrive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! I arrived! And what's this? This is like a guest book of some kind. Oh, that's so cool. So you can wow. sign your name and yeah. tell your story of struggle. I'm so proud of us. I arrived first. <laughs> <laughs> the view, it's all worth it. Wait, let me put my flag. Don't fall. My first ever midnight sun. The downside is I was really hoping to shoot a time lapse. I actually wanted to get a time lapse showing the sun going all the way down and then all of a sudden basically bouncing back up to show you guys that it never went below the horizon. Two things went wrong today. Number one, we were not in place at the right time. Uh, by the time we made it on top of the mountain, the sun was already fully rising. Now, the other thing that went wrong was that we kind of misjudged the position of the sun. We thought it would be a little bit over here. It's hidden behind a mountain. So we really didn't have much of a chance anyways, even if we were here on time. So that puts all the pressure on tomorrow to fully capture that midnight sun time lapse. That's why I'm here. One thing you need to know though, is this beautiful sunlight that happens in the summer months does come at a real serious cost. The winter months are brutal. From December 22nd to January 6th, they will not see the sun at all. It will never rise fully above the horizon for eight days straight. Yeah, just grateful to be experiencing my first ever real midnight sun and uh, it's truly incredible. Okay, guys, it's now time to get back to the parking lot. Oh. I tell you guys, my knees are just not like they used to be. I used to be able to jump twice that height, but Definitely every year the knees just get a little tighter, but anyways. I don't know what down. makes you older. Your knees or, or your my gray, gray hair. hairs. Yeah, I'm starting to get gray hairs. I have to be honest guys, I didn't actually jump down from the cliff. There was something that happened on the way down. <laughs> Sorry guys, I guess you could say I just totally fell in their crap. Oh no, I literally did! <laughs> I smeared it. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's like Christian shot his pants. <laughs> what happened? Is it is it bad? <laughs> is it is it <laughs> bad? <laughs> bad? <laughs> is it? Not bad. <laughs> well, I would have done it with this. It's so ones. good. It's not it's not a lot, but it's not a little either. <laughs> <laughs> Just the right amount. <laughs> I slid on it too, that's why I fell. <laughs> well, I know what I'm having for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Thanks yes, for joining sir. us. And it's a little nipply out here, guys. Oh, your hands feel like a grandma's. Grandma, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but your hands are always so cold. We survived the midnight sun. We did. But we want to give another shot tomorrow, so Today. I'll see you then. Oh. <laughs> uh, today. Good night. We woke up today at 4 p.m. So we're now on a nocturnal schedule and it's round two. Let's get it. This is crazy. So the sun is going to be setting for the next hour and 20 minutes roughly. So I'm gonna start up a time lapse and try to capture that movement of the sun going downward and then deciding to change its mind and head back up. And 
And mission accomplished. I just played back the time lapse and it's freaking crazy. I actually didn't expect it to move that much sideways. We kind of missed the downward movement, but I think we caught one of the most interesting parts of what this sunset does. It doesn't set, it's a sun run. It goes on a little horizontal tear. And now it is a new continuous day here in Lofoten, so the sun has risen once again. Quack, 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 quack. The babies are abandoned. Look at them go. <laughs> no. My <Bad> parents. <laughs> the parents left. Today was an absolutely incredible day and that is one of the items checked off my bucket list. My goal is to check off several of those items throughout this year. So stay tuned if you like today's video because this is just the first of my bucket list series. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see your faces around here a little more often. And um, yeah, let's get lost again in the next one.